99% of the nurses at this conference were already nurse coaches. Some of them were in training to become nurse coaches. Some of them have already graduated or many of them been practicing for years and years. I was very surprised by how many nurse coaches were feeling like they didn't understand how many options there are professionally as a nurse coach beyond private practice. Nurses, nurse coaches, welcome back to the Nurse Coach Collective Podcast. I'm your host, Peter, and I'm joined with my co-host today here, Heather. And we are going to be talking all about the Nurse Coach Conference that was rocking. It was a great time. Happens quite a few weeks ago now, but we're just now sitting down and taking this time to reflect on it. Yeah, and we cannot possibly get another day or another week by without talking about it because it was actually tremendous experience that took us over a year of planning to put it all together. And when all was said and done, I don't know about you, Peter, but I could not be more proud of how it all turned out and really a stellar experience. First things first, shout out and thank you to every single nurse and nurse coach who was there with us in North Carolina, y'all. You really truly made that experience the magical event that it was for all of us, including, you know, me and Heather. We really walked away from that experience light with a different sense of being and a different sense of confidence and understanding of like the direction that we're headed as nurse coaches. And so, you know, from the bottom of our hearts, like thank you all to each and every person who was there. And it's pretty astounding what can happen in just a few days, right? Like when you show up with an intention to grow and transform, to be a part of a collective and something so much bigger than yourself. It was a three-day event, a long weekend. And as you and I now have gotten the chance to pour through all of the reviews that people gave us in writing, sharing about their experience, like what can happen in three days of really intentional work surrounded by the right people by your side to co-facilitate that growth? It's something that we see often inside of this nurse coaching world, but to be able to be a part of that live in the flesh in person, that's going to stick with me and give me motivation for the next uh, 365 days. <laughs> Here we go. Let's talk about um, some of our most favorite experiences there. And uh, I think also like some of the takeaways that we had, you know, we often talk about nurse coaching as being this sustainable quick fix, right? And so I think in a lot of ways, you know, the nurse coach conference for many of us, selves included, it was a sustainable quick fix, right? You're talking about three days of condensed, focused healing experiences that can now be going with us for you know weeks, months, and years ahead into the future. So yeah, um, Heather, I know that you have some big takeaways on your side uh, that you wanna share here today. And um, I have a couple on my side as well, but yeah, let's start with you, Heather. What were your top two or three takeaways that you'd like to share here today? My intention going into that nurse coach conference was to experience a personal regrounding with the work that I do. You know, sometimes it gets so easy to get caught up in the day to day and the doing of work, of life, of running a business, of supporting other nurses and nurse coaches on their journey. And so my intention was to really drop in and just like re fall in love with this work all over again. That happened. And, and what was crazy was that it happened almost instantly. So I've been thinking about how that was able to occur, not just in a short three-day period, but like, how did that occur immediately? Like from when you and I were there and starting to put together all those final moving pieces to when the very first guest arrived. And now that I've had time to sit with this and reflect on it, it keeps on boiling down to the people, to the people in our community, to the nurses and nurse coaches inside of this collective with us, because it was, I don't know how you were feeling in the nerves department, but even though we have been working with this community for so long, we've been in the leadership role, I, my nerves were high. I had some energy right before that first day. And yet when that very first nurse coach arrived, I don't know if it was the eye contact or the hug or that moment of acknowledgement. It was like, I felt my whole body settle into this place of confidence and comfort because of what that human gave me. And then I got that over and over and over again for every nurse coach that I interacted with. And I got to witness 
that that wasn't just my feeling. That was the feeling that every nurse coach got, right? Nurse coaches traveling from all across the country, some of them knowing absolutely no one. They're just going to show up at this event and say, you know, hey, does anyone want to be my friend? And everyone left feeling like not only did they have a professional network, but they had friends, but they had a nurse coach family. And that doesn't happen everywhere or with everyone. Like I've never been in every, any other type of community where I've gotten that feeling myself and where I've witnessed that effect happening to almost everyone there. Does that resonate for you? Do you, did you get any of that? Yeah, 100%. You know, I think there was so much prep work that went into the event and sometimes you build it, build it, build it up and you spend so much time focusing on like the logistics and how everything's going to boil out. And, you know, for us, we don't do huge events often, right? So it's not something that we're doing day in and day out. And so when we do a bigger event like that, it is kind of like that building or pressure. And then you begin to see the people and the humans that you're going to be working with. And it's like, oh, yeah, I know how to do this. I know how to be like in leadership and in front of people and, you know, supporting them and then being at their level and like really wondering, like, why are you here? What are you here at the Nurse Coach Conference for? You know, what's your intention? What's everyone's intentions for being here? And how can we support you to do that? And so it kind of shifts from this mindset of preparation, which is so much about me, right? It's about me and you, like Peter and Heather, like putting all of our effort in to service. And once we flip the switch to from preparation to service, it becomes like this more selfless thing. And I think that really allowed us to drop in in a whole different way. And it was probably instrumental in helping you to achieve your intention, Heather, which was, you know, to kind of reconnect back to the work and, you know, having people there in real life um, allows, really allowed us to do that in a much faster, more intimate way. Yeah. And that's interesting what you said about like switching out of moving from preparation into service. And I think that's also moving out of preparation and moving into connection, right? And so other nurse coaches who were there felt that same thing, right? In preparation for the event, they're fearful of, am I going to be the youngest nurse coach there? Am I going to be the oldest one there? Who's my roommate going to be, right? Like all of those preparatory questions. And then when you arrive and you land in the safety of this beautiful space of this fun and forward thinking and completely non-judgmental, safe collective of fellow nurse coaches, it's like, the preparation just is what it is. And you settle into really connecting with people. And then that leads to being able to have silly dance parties in a group of hundreds of us or, you know, beat drums around a fire circle or sit in quietude and have very deep transformative coaching experiences, right? It's like all of that becomes possible when you drop into this place of service and connection. And, and what stuck out for me, what you, what you said is like, when you get out of just that kind of me, me, me thinking, and you get into the us, us, us of what it's like to be in a, in a collective. One of my big takeaways, and this is so glaringly obvious, but this is a lesson that I have learned ever since becoming a nurse coach, which is to trust the process. And I think it ties in nicely with what you're, we're talking about, which is there is a certain process of learning and a process of preparation that allows Every single thing that you do as a nurse coach, whether you're hosting a conference, whether you're having one-on-one -on -one sessions, whether you're doing group coaching, private practice, working inside of an organization, right? It doesn't matter where you're working, but there's a level of preparation that goes into really effective sessions. But the thing that really switches is, you know, when you are there to just slow down, be fully present and to trust the process because all of that preparatory work, all of that learning that you did to get you to that place. What I really noticed was um, the first night of the conference, I was like walking around, like, you know, talking, working with people. And I was like, is this working? Is this, <laughs> is anybody into this? Or is this just Are we a cool? strange <laughs> event? Are we cool? Are we just in the middle of the mountains trying to make something work? And so like, I really had to move through a lot of um, like that inner critic and a lot of that fear and doubt, a lot of self-doubt. And again, it's that selfishness, right? And so, but by the end of night one, I really, really started to feel myself drop into that place of service, which, you know, it's totally a normal human thing, I think, to, right, to kind of be in that state of fear, the inner critic. And, um, but then really the nurse coaching 
practice that I've been doing for the last seven, eight years really flipped gears and allowed me to be in service to the community. But it did take work to trust that process. You know, by the end of beginning of day two, I feel like the whole community there was really in flow together. Me, you, I feel like we really all dropped in. But man, boy, there was that moment of of having to really just trust the process. And you know, I think that's something that probably every single nurse coach can relate to at some point, whether it's recently or yeah, pretty much every, uh, very often, right? When you sit down with somebody, you're like, oh man, is this working, right? Am I here for them? Is it, is, is it going gonna go anywhere, right? And so my big takeaway, again, this lesson just comes up again and again, trust the process um, and allow it to unfold while also just showing up in, in a really, really powerful way. That allowed me to also do something similar to you, Heather, which was to kind of like deeply connect back to my intention, my personal intention, which was to also reconnect with the work that we get to do at the Nurse Coach Collective. Yeah, well, thanks for sharing that because I think that hearing you express where your self-doubt comes in and where your inner critic still exists will be helpful for nurses and nurse coaches listening to this because a lot of times you can see your leaders and your mentors and assume that like none of that inner chatter happens anymore. But as you said, it's human and that of course happens. And yet we can leverage all of our tools and skills and mindsets that we have harnessed and practiced over the years as nurse coaches to help us combat some of those things and be stronger because of it. Uh, and, and like, what's the alternative? What's the alternative to trusting the process? Well, the flip side of that is that you're stressed. You live in a state of fear. You're constantly worrying about what people think or what the outcome is going to be. And, you know, you and I laughed about even we got stressed out about the weather, something completely outside of our control. And we were looking at the weather forecast for the week leading up to the event. And we're like, oh my gosh, it's not going to be sunny and beautiful. It's going to be foggy and you're not going to be able to see the views and people are going to be unhappy. And this whole cascade of thinking takes place. And then ironically, the weather ended up being one of the most beautiful metaphors of the entire experience because the first day or two, the weather was kind of crappy, right? It was like so foggy and you couldn't even see your hand in front of your face, but it was mysterious. It wasn't fog, it was, it was clouds. We were literally in the clouds. <laughs> it was it was super awesome, yeah. Which was quite a parallel to actually how I think a lot of people came to the event feeling. Like they were kind of in the clouds and things were murky and they weren't exactly sure where they were going. And then magic from the universe on our final day, we had this incredible breaking of beautiful weather. And, you know, then our, our guests were laughing at the metaphor of like, we've gone through this beautiful three-day transformation. And now finally, I have this amazing clarity. I see the mountains and the Blue Ridge out in front of me. And was it worth the stress and looking at the forecast a dozen times every hour for the week leading up to it? No. It was a matter of trusting the process and allowing the universe to do its thing and make whatever is going to happen, make the most of it as you receive it. Any other insights? What else you got? 99% of the nurses at this conference were already nurse coaches. Some of them were in training to become nurse coaches. Some of them have already graduated or many of them have been practicing for years and years. I was very surprised by how many nurse coaches were feeling like they didn't understand how many options there are professionally as a nurse coach beyond private practice. They had been caught up in this way of thinking that's like, I have to start my own business because that's the only thing that I can do as a nurse coach. And so that totally took me aback. And I tried to kind of untangle this and be like, whoa, I thought we've been trying to actually portray the polar opposite of that. Yes, you can start your own business, but there are so many different options. So where, where have you gotten stuck in that way of thinking? They said, well, everybody who seems to be sharing online about what they do as a nurse coach is talking about their own private practice. And so I realized uh, nurse coaches in business are loud. We like to talk about what we do. We like to share uh, about our clients, just kind of a thing that you do tend to post about or you do tend to hear. And so this conference was a beautiful opportunity to hear from so many other nurse coaches who are practicing in a total variety of settings from hospitals to clinics, insurance companies. We heard from nurse coaches who are taking their work back to their hospital and transforming their one small unit. We heard from nurse coaches who are 
bringing nurse coaching programs to their entire hospital. And then even beyond that, working with hospital organizations, like now branching out to, I think it was seven different hospitals within one healthcare system. So many really, really cool things, like massively important work that has nothing to do with private practice in your own business. And I watched that be very refreshing for so many nurse coaches to learn, which I didn't realize was a gap that kind of we need to talk about a little bit more and need that to be filled. So I don't know if you felt that or experienced that at all, but it was something that made me really, really happy to have a space to hear more stories from more nurse coaches about their work in a variety of different fields. I've personally always been a little bit sensitive, empathetic, (laughs) aware of the facts that a lot of nurse coaches, aspiring nurse coaches don't necessarily want to start their own private practice. And so kind of just being, being aware of that. And, but yeah, that was a great, great reminder and a a great understanding of like, yeah, guys, you know, there's so much, so many great things that you can do as a nurse coach on our graduation call two weeks ago, director of nursing, right? One story. Um, she was high level management position and, uh, she was considering to start her own private practice, but then she had this opportunity to go and become the director of nursing at her hospital and affect organization level change by leveraging nurse coaching. She's already seeing such huge cultural shifts, decreases in literal, not only burnout rates, but like people leaving positions as nurses inside the hospital. And so, yeah, there are so, so many different pathways um, that you can go. And I, I think being there allowed us to just see all of these different avenues that somebody could take nurse coaching and reminding us like, yeah, hey, there is this path that's called private practice, but there's also this entire world of opportunity for you. And we say this all the time, but let it sink in, friends, if you're listening, you are only limited by your creativity inside of this field of nurse coaching. It is so broad um, in terms of how you can do it and how you can implement it. And whatever it is that you want to create, there are a community of an entire army of nurse coaches willing and ready to stand behind you. That is what I saw at the nurse coach conference. And I have seen now how everyone there is taking those connections, is taking that support and that camaraderie and continuing to lift each other up virtually, right? We don't always have the opportunity to be all together. And so I think some of these takeaways that were, were such insights for us, right? Trusting the process, leaning into the community, knowing that there are this whole realm of possibilities. It's all just kind of like floating in the background all the time. But it's a matter of each of us, you and I included, making that decision of like, okay, how am I going to tap into this? How am I going to leverage these resources? How am I going to be a part of all of this good stuff that's going on? All in all, an absolutely fantastic event, y'all. For those of you who were at the Nurse Coach Conference, I'm from the bottom of our hearts, man. Thank you so much for attending. It was an absolute blast. You know, I have had so many takeaways and I'm personally like, because of it, uh, leading up to that event, I like kicked into high gear, um, you know, my mental, physical, emotional health, uh, just so I could be like physically prepared to show up at my absolute best. And that has carried with me, you know, almost two months later, um, which is awesome. And I hope, uh, you know, so many of the attendees are feeling the same way. I do too. And can I just share one more thing that was the absolute- All right, one more thing. Let's go. (laughs) Most most magical part for me, um, because this is like our little secret that the people who were there know, but the people who weren't there don't know. We actually got to bring our little little baby with us to the event. So he had his first cameo on stage in front of hundreds of nurse coaches applauding for us as we applauded for him. And it was a totally silly, very special moment that will um, forever be stamped in my heart. Y'all, we brought our baby on stage and almost on cue, he looks out over the crowd and legit on cue, this kid's a, a year and a few months old, looks out, he starts clapping, goes, yeah, dude. So good, good job, <laughs> baby. <laughs> totally, totally crushed it. But that was also, you know, a great experience to have, um, you know, our family there and to be able to have him have that experience as well. So heck yeah. Nurse Coach Conference complete. Awesome, y'all. Well, thanks for hanging out with Peter and myself today. We would love to hear your insights, your greatest takeaways from the Nurse Coach Conference if you were there. And we'll talk to you soon.